What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, I'll show you how to draw the zombie Moon Knight. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of a page with the top edge of the brow. We leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. We draw a curve that goes up and we'll bend that out towards the side. Let's line up the inside over on the right and do the same thing, going up and bending that out. Let's curl up the inside of the brow, starting on the left side, curl this in and then up, and then do the same thing on the right. Now you want to tuck the eyes in underneath the brow. On the outside, let's step in, draw a half circle, going all the way down towards the bottom, and just pull that up towards the inside of the brow. Let's add a fold along the inside of the eyes. Start on the left, curl this down and then out, just underneath. Now we're gonna add a fold in between the eyes for the nose. Starting over on the left, curl this up, and then bring that down. Let's step up and draw a shorter curve. Now you wanna move down and draw the top edge of the mouth. Starting over on the left side, we're just gonna curl this up and out towards the right, going up a little bit higher. Then the mouth going out and then down towards the side. Let's connect the bottom with a curve, going down towards the bottom of the mouth and then back up. Now you want to draw the top edge of the teeth, starting over on the left, curve this down and back up, and it'll separate out the teeth, starting in the middle, go up towards the left and then bring that back down. And do the same thing over on the right and add a couple smaller teeth on either side. Let's draw the bottom row of teeth, starting from the center, going up and down. And we'll continue this all the way out towards the side of the mouth. Let's fill the inside of the mouth in black. Let's add a torn edge around the mouth, starting right in the middle, curve this up and then down towards the left, going around the mouth with these series of curves. Now on the end, we're just going to go out and then down towards the bottom. Let's go back to the center and work our way across towards the right. Let's go back to the left side, step up and draw the bottom of the head, coming down and bending that back up. Now from here, we're gonna move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the brow, let's step out. Let's so curve this down. Just bend that in towards that bottom point. Line this up on the right. And do the same thing, coming down and then bending that in. Let's add a fold across the cheeks. Starting over on the left side, come down and bend that in. Then we'll add a fold, stepping out, come down and in towards the bottom. Let's add some holes around the right eye, starting along the bottom, go down and up. We're just going to work our way around the outside of the eye and then pull that back up towards the brow. Let's tear up the left cheek, coming in and out. And again, just working our way down towards the bottom. Add a small circle beside the eye. I'm going to pull this back up towards the top of the hood, starting on the left side, going up, and bending that in. Let's bend the hood coming down in between the eyes. We're going to add a couple tears along the way. And then come down towards the center. And do the same thing on the right, going up. Now from this top point on the left, let's step out and curve the hood, going out and then down towards the side. Let's go over towards the right, bring that down towards the same height. Let's tuck the hood in behind the side of the head. We come down and bend that in. Let's pull the hood going up towards the center point. 
starting on the left, going up, and bending that in, go across, and bring that down towards the right. Let's add a tear on the left side of the hood. Starting up here, curve this up, and bring that down, and a smaller curve. Now it's going to bring this around and then down towards the bottom right. Going all the way around, go across, and then down. Let's add a few spots along the top with these various size circles. Now we're going to tear up the top of the left eye, going up and then down, and just work our way towards the inside of the brow. Let's add a couple spots on the outside, and we'll add a few on top of the right eye. Let's add a fold on the side of the head, starting on the left, put this down and just bend that in. Now that we complete the head, let's move down and draw on the side of the body. We start on the left side, just underneath the head, curl the body going out, and then down towards the hip, line this up on the right, and down towards the same height. Let's tear up the bottom, starting over on the left, curve down and up, and a small curve in the center, and go out towards the right hip. Let's add that moon symbol in the center of the body. We're going to start on the right side, draw a circle going all the way around, leave the gap on the right side, connect the ends with a smaller curve. Now you want to tear up the left and right side of the body, starting from the left side of that moon, curve up and down, go out towards the side, and then do the same thing on the right. Let's add the spine in the center of the body. Starting underneath the moon, we're going to draw two straight lines coming down towards the bottom. And we'll separate the spine. Starting along the top of the curve, just repeat this all the way down towards the bottom. And then we'll add the ribs going out towards the side. Let's we'll start from the top left, put this out and then down. And we'll taper that up and back in. Let's leave a gap and do that again. Going out and then down. Taper that in. And we'll add one more. Let's fill the inside of the body going around the ribs. I'm going to move back to the center, step down and add a curve, going up and down in between the legs. Leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, curl the left leg going out and then down towards the heel. Move over towards the right, going out and down towards the same height. Let's round out the bottom of the feet. Starting from the left heel, curl the foot, coming down and then up towards the toes. And we'll go back to the left side and round out the top of the foot. Start from the outside, we're going to draw a half circle going up. Now aiming towards the heel, we'll leave a gap on the inside. And we'll go back up to the hips and draw the outside of the leg, going out and then down on top of the feet. Let's add a thick sole along the bottom of the feet. We're going to take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. And then from the top of the foot, we'll step up, curl the boot, coming down and then up. And now we're going to go back up and draw the arm stretch out towards the side. Let's we'll start underneath the head on the left, curl the arm going out and then down towards the elbow. And then from the elbow, curve out and up with a short line towards the wrist. Let's draw in the thumb. On the wrist, we're going to go up towards the top and bend that down. Just 
tape that back in towards the palm. Now I'm going to add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the outside of the thumb, put this up, and then that down and in. Tape that around and back in towards the thumb. Let's stack two more fingers underneath. Starting from the bottom, go around and then in. And then just tuck that up underneath the top finger. Let's do that one more time. Let's go underneath that bottom finger, curve the palm coming down. I'm just gonna bend this up, aiming towards the thumb. And then from the inside of the palm, curve the arm coming down and in towards the elbow. And we'll bend the arm coming in and up behind the body. Let's separate the edge of the glove. Starting from the elbow, curve this in and then back out towards the bottom. Let's place the cape on top of the shoulders. Start from the outside of the arm, curve this in and up underneath the head. Let's wrap that cape in behind the arms and come down. Let's start underneath the arm, curve this down and out towards the sides. And we'll bend that back in towards the foot. Let's add a fold along the outside of the cape. Starting from the bottom, going up and in. Just bend that up underneath the arm. Now we're gonna wrap that cape in behind the legs. From the bottom, we're gonna step up. Just gonna draw a short curve coming up and in towards the leg. Let's add a tear, going up and down. Continue that curve going in behind the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Coming in, add that upside down V, and pull that in. Let's close off the cape in between the legs with a small curve. And we'll add some holes in the back of the cape. Let's start on the left. Start with one circle, and a small one on the top, add one large one on the right. Now I'm going to finish off by adding some tears across the body. Let's we'll start underneath the left elbow, curve around and in, add a small curve. Let's pull that in towards the side of the body. Let's go to the outside of the right arm and do the same thing. Let's add a tear on the left thigh. Add one along the inside of the right leg, coming down towards the boot. And finally, we're just going to add a few holes, these small circles. Add a few across the leg. Now let's grab some markers and I'll show you how to color this in. Let's start with our purple and fill the scars across the head. And going around the mouth. and we'll fill the gums with this dark red. I'm gonna use this pale yellow to fill in the teeth. And we'll fill the inside of the head with this dark gray. Working our way around the eyes and those scars. Now with our green, we're going to fill the scars around the body, starting with the head, and then across the body, and then the legs. Now with our warm gray, we'll fill in the rest of the body.
and then with the darker warm gray, we'll fill in the back of the cape, going around those circles. Also fill the inside of the ribs and the spine. Now use that same gray to cast some shadows across the bottom of the head and a shadow from the head on top of the body. Use a darker green to add a shadow across the top of the scar. Let's finish off our drawing by signing our artwork, and that's pretty much it. That's how we draw and color Zombie Moon Knight. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon.